In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NHL games happening on November 1, 2022 and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NHL games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Ottawa Senators vs. Tampa Bay Lightning A pair of Atlantic Division foes from opposite ends of the continent take the ice in the Sunshine State looking to pick up two points. The Ottawa Senators are on the road as they make the trip down the Atlantic seaboard to take on the Tampa Bay Lightning Tuesday night. Ottawa comes in off a 5-3 defeat at the hands of the Panthers on Saturday night in their most recent contest. Tampa Bay edged San Jose 4-3 on the road Saturday afternoon to finish up a three-game California swing. The Lightning have won seven of the last ten meetings between the teams, including the last five. In the most recent meeting, Tampa Bay picked up a 5-2 home victory on March 1, 2022. The Lightning returned home from a successful West Coast road trip to take on the Senators on Tuesday night. The Senators have a revamped lineup this season following some huge offseason additions, so they present a tougher test this season for the dominant Lightning competitors compared to previous seasons. Nonetheless, the Lightning have too much firepower and a significant advantage in net that gives them the edge in this game. After acquiring Claude Giroux and Alex to brink at this past offseason, Ottawa immediately became a legitimate threat after finishing towards the bottom of the standings over the past few years. They currently have a 4-4 record and sit just two points behind the Lightning. The offense has been thriving at finding the back of the net, where Ottawa ranks 4th in goals per game as well as 8th in power play percentage. The Lightning have surprisingly not been as electric offensively as they continue to work in some new forwards into their lineup as well as adding a couple new defensemen to play in front of Andrei Vasilevsky. Speaking of Vasilevsky, he has the chance to be the difference maker in this game. As great as the Senators have been offensively, their defense and goaltending has been quite the opposite. They rank bottom 10 in goals against per game and penalty kill percentage, so the dangerous bolts should generate their fair share of scoring chances and have a chance to thrive on the man advantage. The Senators simply have to score a bunch of goals to win games based on their poor defense and goaltending. But Vasilevsky is a tough matchup to do that against and he should be able to make a few crucial saves that lead the Bolts to victory in regulation. So the Tampa Bay Lightning money line is our full game side pick. Ottawa has split their eight games in relation to the total this season. The Senators are 0-3-0 on the road this season and have stayed under the number in two of their three road contests. This season, Ottawa has posted an average total of 7.12 goals per game on the season though that number falls down to an even 6 goals per game on the road. Tampa Bay has split their 8 games in regard to the total this season as well. The Lightning have split their 2 games at home in relation to the total on the year. Tampa Bay has seen an average of 6.22 goals per game on the year and that number edges to 6.5 goals per contest at home, though it's based on only 2 games. Knowing how tough Vasowski is at home and the fact that the Senators have struggled on the road, this game winds up falling below the total. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Philadelphia Flyers vs. New York Rangers The Philadelphia Flyers and the New York Rangers will face off in a Metropolitan Divisional matchup on Tuesday evening inside of Madison Square Garden. The Flyers are third in the division and are coming off a 4-3 home overtime loss against the Carolina Hurricanes on Saturday night. The Rangers are second in the division and are riding a two-game winning streak after a 3-2 road win over the Arizona Coyotes on Sunday. This will be their first of three games against one another so it will be an interesting matchup. The Flyers have won five of their eight games, including two of three on the road. They've scored at least three goals in four of their last five games, which is a good sign. They've also been effective on special teams, converting 21.4% of their power play chances. Even though the Rangers are also playing well, they have struggled defensively, particularly at home, where they have allowed at least three goals in four consecutive games and will have a difficult time slowing down the Flyers. The Rangers started well, but have struggled in recent weeks, losing four of 
their last six games. Despite their strong special teams play, they face a Philadelphia team that has killed 80.8% of their penalties and is holding opponents to under three goals per game. The New York Rangers are going to get the benefit of the doubt more times than not, especially at home, and they're the clear better team here. However, let's not act like the Rangers are playing well at the moment, and it's not like the Philadelphia Flyers are playing poorly. This line is a bit surprising given the form of both clubs. The Flyers have also had success in New York over the years. The strength of the Flyers is the defense, and they are giving up only 2.63 goals per game. In this one, I expect the Rangers' offense is going to really struggle, and that is going to be the difference as Philadelphia is going to get the job done. So the Philadelphia Flyers' money line is our full game side pick. Carter Hart has been exceptional for his Flyers to start the season, but like his team, it looks like his magic is soon to be empty. He was shelled against the Carolina Hurricanes and has given up three goals in his past two games. His numbers are slowly dwindling and playing the Rangers won't help his numbers if they score three plus, which they are very capable of. However, the Flyers haven't had issues scoring just yet, so they should add to the goal total, making it go past the total. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Vegas Golden Knights vs. Washington Capitals The Vegas Golden Knights face the Washington Capitals with both teams off to strong starts to the season. The Golden Knights have an 8-2 record and with a 4-game winning streak, boast the best record in the Pacific Division. The Capitals have a 5-4-1 record and are right in the middle of a competitive metropolitan division. Both teams are looking to build off promising starts and improve in their divisions and the upcoming game should be a good one as a result. The Vegas Golden Knights start a 5-game Eastern Conference road trip on on Tuesday when they play the Washington Capitals. The Golden Knights are in a groove, as they've won four in a row and five of their last six games. The Capitals had won three of their last four games heading into their game against the Hurricanes on Monday night, meaning this game will be the second game in a back-to-back -back situation. On top of the schedule advantage for the Golden Knights, they also will have a roster advantage. The Capitals announced over the weekend forward TJ Oshi will be out indefinitely with a lower body injury. They also may be without top defenseman John Carlson who sat out Monday's game due to an injury as well. Add those two star players on top of all-star forwards Nicholas Backstrom and Tom Wilson, and the Capitals roster starts to look thin. The Golden Knights should also be able to control the play on Tuesday as well. On the attack, the Golden Knights do a great job of creating scoring chances as they rank fourth in expected goals. Pressure is what the Capitals struggle with as they rank in the bottom five, at 28, in expected goals against. A tired and injured Capitals team that will struggle with a top offense like the Golden Knights. The Caps are on a back-to-back -back after a tough game in Carolina that needed overtime and now the Golden Knights are simply the more well-rested team here and I think they get the job done on the road in this one. So the Vegas Golden Knights money line is our full game side pick. The Capitals, who are allowing only 2.89 goals per game, should limit the Golden Knights' offense with Nick Jensen, Dimitri Orlo, and the rest of the unit creating turnovers in the defensive zone and limiting shots on the net, allowing goaltender Charlie Lindgren to make plenty of big saves. The Golden Knights, who have only allowed four goals in their last four games, should eliminate the Capitals with Shea Theodore, Braden McNabb, Alex Pietrangelo, and the rest of the defense forward turnovers in the neutral zone and defensive zone while goaltender Logan Thompson makes plenty of big saves in the net. Both teams have been playing great defense and I like both teams to make this game a low-scoring one. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.